Well, welcome Tauruses and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Tuesday the 8th of March through to Sunday the 13th of March 2022. Tauruses, I just want to apologise for getting your reading out um, later than normal. Um, I am actually doing this reading as of um 11 43 um uk time so um by the time it does get published it will be published clicking over to wednesday the 9th um but i am doing this reading as of tuesday okay it's just that by the time it gets uploaded it will it will reflect as in wednesday but i was just told to just relax um don't worry about time because time is very fluid um i know for myself with the readings that i do for myself um, sometimes it can um, take a couple of weeks, maybe even a month before I start seeing what I'm seeing for myself, if that makes sense. So um, I was just told to just relax, to just do the reading. It's it's fine. It's no problem. Um, so again, my apologies, but the message still resonates and it does feel like a very exciting um, uh, message. So on your uh, on the left hand side, there will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump in Tauruses and have a look and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Tuesday, the 8th of March through to, thank you. Wow, transformation. Yeah, that's what I was picking up when I was um, channeling. So um, for those of you that I'm picking up, if um, career or finances or some sort of material wealth was a blocker for this connection, okay? Um, either you or your person were focusing on money, focusing on career, focusing on material wealth, that is transforming, okay? And I feel that there's a new approach, a new perspective that's been seen in this connection. For you as individuals, Tauruses, if you have had money challenges or challenges in your career, expect a transformation, expect um, a new beginning. Um, and I feel that for both of you, um, if career and finances were something that was a bit of a blocker, um, I feel that because there is a deep sense of a soulmate connection here, I feel that this new beginning um, is bringing in the reward of patience, bringing in the reward of spiritual growth. Um, something is really transforming and it almost feels as if uh, many of you are just going to, your, your cups are going to be overflowing is what I'm feeling, um, not only in the relationship, but if you personally have had challenges when it comes to work and finances, you're going in a new direction. You're going, starting a new beginning, starting a new job. Um, things are improving. There's a major transformation with regards to uh, this relationship, particularly if career and finances was a blocker okay and there's 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 new uh there's a new beginning with regards to a career or your money situation or any money challenges that you may have had thank you okay so yeah okay so uh I feel, again, the butterfly coming out here. Butterflies are all about transformation. It feels as if either um, whoever you're connecting with, Taurus, uh, I feel that it's more to do with you. You may have gone through a loss or a bereavement, um, and it may have impacted your career. It may have impacted your finances, and it certainly impacted your relationship, whoever you're connecting with, which I must admit I'm picking up is a twin flame or a very very deep soulmate and I feel that you grieved in all aspects it's almost as if it's almost as if there were it, it, it just feels like you just had a lot of curveballs that were hitting you left right and center it could be you it could be your person lots of life challenging issues you know um 
money, finances, career, grieving, loss, bereavement, um, which then impacted this relationship. So it almost feels as if you were grieving this relationship as well because you, you weren't in the headspace um, to pursue this relationship, to nurture the relationship, to take things to a new level. It could be you, it could be the person that you're connecting with, but this is all about to transform. It's all about to change, entering a new path, a new beginning. And I feel that um, divine spirit universe is letting, you know something, it could be both of you, because look, there's two butterflies here. So genuinely, either this is a twin flame, certainly a deep soulmate. I feel that very, very, very strongly. But it almost feels as if divine spirit universe is just letting us know that divine timing is perfect. There is a process, there is an order in which divine planning has brought the two of you together. Maybe one of you were brought into each other's lives to help through loss, bereavement, OK, um, to help and shine the light on your finances, obstacles with regards to your career, because when you encountered one another, you wanted to be the best version of yourself. Get your ducks in a row. It could cut. It could be carved up in so many different ways. But what I feel is that there have been a lot of curveballs hitting you. OK, hitting you or hitting your person, either or. OK, but it impacted both of you because I feel there are two butterflies here. So it feels as if both of you are going through a major transformation. You're both definitely being guided. Oh, there's there's the next look at that. I can't even make make it up. I was just about to say you're both being guided. It is definitely divinely guided. Because the connection is blessed. And I do feel that the connection is very, very protected. Both of you could be um, wishing, praying people, people that manifest, people that meditate. It almost feels as if whatever these curveballs, whatever these issues, whatever was going on that was hitting you or your person or both of you, it feels like the two of you were parallel running like experiencing the same obstacles at the same time, but perhaps in different ways. But the key thing is here is that it impacted the relationship, a relationship that I feel is a very, very deep, deep rooted relationship, very deep bonds, spiritually, physically, mentally. Mind, body and soul is what's coming to my mind. It, this connection is very, very blessed. And I feel that throughout whatever these curveballs uh, were going on in your life, in their life, in both of your lives, you were definitely being protected. Yeah, definitely being guided with this full moon here. Many of you, I feel that you're being guided with the full moon shining brightly here. Um, maybe it was during the full moon on the 2nd of March. OK, um, it, it's almost as if you're being illuminated to acknowledge the spiritual growth, to acknowledge the blessing. Many of you could have acknowledged there was bere bereavement, loss. And so therefore you needed to give that other person time to get to, to grieve, to not put any pressure. You, you know, you may have had other stuff hitting you at the same time, but it really does feel that the two of you were parallel running with obstacles. It almost feels like, uh, to be honest with you, it almost feels like a spiritual battle that the two of you were encountering because this connection is so deep. It's almost as if you know, um, a bit of a spiritual battle for the two of you not to come into union. But because you both are blessed and protected, what's there for you, nobody can take it away, definitely. And your card here, the bombshell, very interesting. I feel that many of you, um, I feel there's two ways that I see it. Uh, two ways in terms of the connection may have sparked and exploded when you first encountered each other, like a bombshell, okay? But then in the same space, there were like a lot of bombshells that are going off in your life that almost affected the connection in some shape, form or another. Um, and what I'm picking up intuitively, it was to do with career, money, material, wealth, finances. And it says here, um, the descriptors for uh, you, uh, Tauruses, it says earthy, practical, steadfast, productive, fertile, tactile, ample, 
worthy, ripe, pleasure-seeking, sensuous, blooming, solid, possessive, tenuous, loyal, patient, deliberate. So it almost feels as if all of these descriptors, descriptors um, may have been the ebbs and flows that uh, you may experience this week or that you have may experienced in this relationship. But it feels as if there's been a combination of things that have really impacted this connection. But you know what? I feel that both of you have been steadfast with each other, uh, maybe not practically rea in reality with each other, but certainly spiritually because the connection is very, very deep. OK, and many of you um, may have um, applied a lot of a patience with the other person. Yeah, because you knew that it was um, something that was um, ready to bloom, it was fertile, it was right for you, right for both of you, okay? So I feel that you're being guided, even though there's been a lot of um, ups and downs, a lot of obstacles, a lot of curveballs, you're just being guided to enjoy the journey because, do you know what, it is blessed, it is blessed and protected. And I feel that many of you, if you have been praying about this connection, meditating, manifesting, setting intentions for clarity, I feel continue, continue doing your meditation, continue um, asking your spirit team for guidance, because I feel the highest truth will be revealed. And the highest truth this week, certainly, is that there is transformation. There's a new beginning. It's almost as if you both are receiving um, your um, your just deserves, so, so to speak, overflowing milk and honey, you know, overflowing, just lapping up um, this new beginning with regards to work, finances, but most importantly, your relationship with the yin card coming out here this is the divine feminine receptive energy so this person i feel is the yang to your yin okay um or you are the yin to their yang whichever it doesn't matter but this is the divine feminine energy part of yin and yang the key thing here is like again i say i picked up this feels very much like a very very deep soulmate now yin and yang to me is a twin flame okay you both fit together yeah you're both part of each other's halves um so this very much could be a twin flame reading but with the yin card here i feel that you're being guided to see things from a higher perspective to see the the spiritual growth to step into your emotions step into your emotions allow be receptive of the emotions of transformation, of change, of new beginnings, of the overflowing of milk and honey um, in this connection with your finances, um, with your career, other aspects of your life. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. You're being guided. Take that leap of faith. Come to the edge. There's a lot of love, lots of love hearts. Take that leap of faith. You're not alone. Um, and this is just almost echoing the two of you, maybe unbeknown to yourself, maybe parallel running with certain obstacles and issues in your life um, with regards to that stopped both of you really moving forward in this connection. I feel that that's all about to change. So don't give up hope. You're not alone. Okay. OK, you're not alone and uh, you're being guided almost to take that leap of faith. OK, and just allow um, your emotions, allow divine spirit universe to flow through you effortlessly with that yin cards there so that you can open up your arms and re receive, receive your blessings in all aspects, funny um, finances, money, love. OK, things are finally clearing out. Things are finally transforming, just like the bombshell. Yeah. In the same way that you may have had a lot of bombshells hitting you left, right and center or you and your person. OK, I feel that you both definitely parallel running each other the same way. Divine is going to throw in a bombshell to transform the situation and bring in your blessings. Because as I say, as this card said, many of you have st stood steadfast in this connection, okay? Or whoever you're connecting has stood fast, um, um, been steadfast. Look, I can't even make it up. 
loyal heart. You both have stood steadfast in this connection. Both of you have been loyal to each other, regardless of the curveballs that have been hit in both of you respectively, that I feel impacted this relationship. This is twin flame. The both of you are each other's other half of your heart okay and many of you that is opening up now a new beginning is opening up it's like the both of you are looking at each other spiritually and saying did you did you go through that shit at work did you go through that shit with your money because the both of you i feel were parallel running yeah and it's almost as if look at all the love that's around all the love hearts and the two of you have come out wiser wiser stronger and almost kind of like spiritually, you're just looking at each other like, yeah, man, like, yeah, that was a lot, like really shitty situation. Was it really shitty for you? It's like, it's like you're communicating with each other because the two of you are loyal. You two of you feel comfortable with each other, certainly spiritually anyway. And so I feel that you're being guided with your carnal self. Take that leap of faith because this connection is very beautiful. I told you, I told you when I when I was meditating and channeling for this message, all I got was this really beautiful, beautiful energy, Tauruses. And that's why they said to me, don't worry about the time. You know, it will click over, it will get published on YouTube. Uh, it will it will show that it was published on Wednesday the 9th. I mean, it doesn't matter because this can I feel that this reading, um, and I don't know why I'm doing Taurus last, but I was just guided that to take my time with it. Take my time with it. Two of you are very, very loyal to each other because you, there is a very deep connection. And I said that. So enjoy the journey, guys. Enjoy the journey because you're definitely embarking on a new beginning. Okay. Taurus says, if this message resonates for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Tauruses. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's truly, truly appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something really useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Tuesday, the 8th of March through to Sunday, the 13th of March, 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Okay, let's go. My angels, and thank you. So whoever you are uh, connecting with, I feel as if they they do want to talk. They do want to talk about maybe a new beginning. Maybe they want to even talk if you've gone through some grieving or they've gone some through some grieving. Um, I feel that they want to talk about it. If the, the if there has been obstacles, which I do feel that there have been obstacles to do with career and finances, it feels like this person wanted wanted to talk. Okay, um, talk about the connection, talk to you. But I feel that you guys are already spiritually talking. I feel that this person wants to talk in our reality, but they don't quite know how to initiate that conversation, particularly if you've been grieving or they've been grieving it might be something that they didn't want to burden you with or they're just respecting your time as you're going through some sort of grieving process uh, I mean the two of you through the obstacles that have been um, blocking this connection for a hot minute which is going through transformation this person may have wanted to talk about it many of you may have grieved if you had to shut down block uh, resist this connection because you knew that you weren't in the right headspace something flipped there in the cards where was it maybe not okay let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine they're just showing me the eight of um cups there i should have showed you it's, oh there it is 
Oh, maybe I'm supposed to, oh, maybe I'm supposed to show you these cards. Um, so the Eight of Cups, I feel either somebody did walk away, resisted the connection. It feels like it might have been you, Tauruses. Maybe you said something cutting. Said something cutting and walked away. You know, said something a little bit. Look, many of you were conflicted with the Five of Wands. Yeah, many of you were conflicted with something that perhaps was said in the heat of the moment because maybe you were grieving. This person was, and they wanted to talk about it, okay? This person at the moment is um, spiritually still, stagnant, observing, okay? But they are very loyal to you. I feel that they want this change, and I feel that this world card is echoing massive transformation. There is big change that is happening, and it does feel as though that this person has been waiting for this change, maybe waiting for you to um, a reasonable amount of time if you ha were grieving um, a lost one. OK, um, if that does apply, my condolences to you, Tauruses. Um, I feel that um, uh, they were waiting for a reasonable amount of time, observing when is the right time to perhaps talk about you and them. OK. But the world card is letting us know that there is transformation, the cycle of blockages, the cycles of loads of bombshells hitting this connection, I feel is over. Transformation, a new beginning, a new cycle is opening up for the two of you. Um, here, Taurus, we've got your energy coming up. Um, you, this person could have Taurus in their chart as well. We've got Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. New beginnings, the world card. This also could represent that the two of you are um, uh, at physical different locations, like different countries, different towns, different cities. Now, normally I would say, if not, you're spiritually distant, but here in this card, you're not. You're spiritually together. So it must be that you're at a physical location, like physically distant from each other. So I would say many of you may, may not even live together different countries even, cities, towns. But the world card does represent change, which is the transformation for both of you. And there's the communication. I feel that this person, yeah, it almost feels as if this person needs to travel to you to talk. Yeah, but this is um, swift communication that's coming in from whoever you're connecting with. And I feel that they will do that face to face. They will travel to you to talk to you. OK, if it is um, if you are in different countries, this person might FaceTime you or do a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting. But this feels as if this person is going to make the effort to communicate to you. OK. Because I feel whatever they're observing here, it almost feels as if divine spirit universe is going to tell them when it's the right time to take a leap of faith and express emotion. Thank you, the Empress, yeah. So I feel that for many of you, um, I feel that it's this person here that's the Empress, actually, because it feels as if they're coming towards you to talk OK, whether male or female, it could represent you as well. Maybe you had blocked communication from this person uh, because you were grieving, because you had a lot of curveballs with regards to finances, money, career. Um, or, you know, you may be thinking of this person, um, wanting them to come towards you with communication. But whoever this energy is with the Empress, it's somebody that has high standards. It's somebody that um, I, if it's if it's their energy that you're thinking about, this is somebody that you think the world of. You recognise they've got high standards. I would say that you see this person as nurturing somebody that you can build a family with, um, somebody that um, you've got a lot of respect for. And if it's your energy, then it's the same message applies. Um, you know, you're ready for long term commitment. You may you know your standards, you know your worth basically you know your worth um and i feel that the, the, the person that you're connecting with thinks the world of you may see you as long-term commitment marriage material somebody that they want to have a, a family with 
let's get some clarifiers i feel like whoever you are connecting with is thinking about you quite a lot okay and it could be your energy maybe you walked away like i said because you had a lot of curveballs hitting you I feel that this person might want to travel to you to talk face to face. The Queen of Wands. So I feel like, um, well, the Queen of Wands is the same kind of energy as the um, Empress. Um, the only difference is, is that the Queen of Wands is somebody that is very, very passionate, very free spirited, um, very independent. OK, extra attributes that the Empress also holds as well. But the, this person, I feel, has a, a lot of passion for you or they see that you have a lot of passion for them okay it almost feels as if they want to talk to you okay or they are thinking about taking action to speak to you still not clear whether that queen of wands and that empress is you or them let's let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does the soulmates of taurus sun moon rising and venus <coughs> excuse me taurus is oh. oh i thought i was gonna sneeze again if it was a second sneeze i, I mean i'm definitely must be speaking truth i always know when i'm sneezing like that I haven't got a cold or anything. Um, uh, it feels as if, uh, yeah, I was sp speaking some sort of truth. Right, so the Five of Swords. Okay, it feels as though... Oh, okay, okay. All right, I feel like... Um, I feel that uh, communication with the two of you hasn't been really, really great with the Five of Swords. Um, and I feel that this person was, it was very upset over something that was said. Do you remember we saw when we were looking at the main deck that there was conflict? It was, it was, oh, do you know, I'm getting it. Yeah, we, we did see that, didn't we? Um, there was conflict with that five of wands and the knight of wands. So there could have been something that was, that, that was said, that was cutting, that somebody walked away because they were grieving. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands that we saw underneath. I feel that communication hasn't been really great with the uh, Five of Swords and those two swords. Uh, that's Seven Swords. So I feel that this person is taking... Um, keeping secret. The Five of... Seven of Swords is secrets. So with the combination of the five and the two the seven of swords which is secret this person i feel is keeping secret that a they were very upset if you walked away or cut them out resisted denied the connection and i feel that they're keeping secret that they want to talk about it but they may be respecting the fact that you are if you've gone through loss or bereavement or you are grieving financial situation or something they 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 knew that they needed to give you your space and time so it feels like this is their energy the queen of wands this person has passion for you male or female okay male or female it feels like this person has passion towards you okay and it feels as if they want to uh take action okay to talk about something that they're keeping secret they certainly want to put with the five of swords uh communication has been a battle for the two of you they really do want to put that behind them they were very upset if you said something quite cutting shut down resisted denied the connection um and i feel that they want to put that behind there could have been people that were interfering with this connection as well they definitely wanted to talk about it they keep in secret that they still feel passion for you they want to take action but they're holding back with that hangman. They're holding back. So this tells me that that empress energy is this person, male or female. And I feel that you are thinking about this person quite heavily. And I feel that they may even come in um, to talk to you because they, they're coming into your direction. Both of those energies are in your direction. And I feel that they feel that they need to speak to you face to face. Traveling quickly. Yeah. Because this person definitely has got something they want to get off their chest, I would say. 
It may even be to talk about grief if they've gone through grief. You know, it could be, you know, the burden of uh, losing a job, changing a job, financial situation that hurt them, that, you know, that they perhaps wanted to share with you, but for whatever reason, they did want to burden you with it. So they kept still. They kept still. Let's continue. But like I said, there's changes. Changes in curveballs that were hitting this connection, maybe curveballs hitting both of you respectively. Thank you. Oh, thank you and thank you. Oh, gosh, a lot of cards coming out here. Let's have a look. So look at that. I can't even make it up. What comes out is the Seven of Swords. Some of, yes, this person was keeping secret, secret that they were hurt over something that was said, resisting the connection, denying the connection, wanting to talk about it, keeping that secret because they don't know how to initiate this conversation. So this person just stayed still. And look, I can't even make it up. The hangman comes out again. So this person just kept, this is just echoing and just giving me affirmation of what I was picking up. Um, just reading these cards. Um, so this person's definitely keeping secret, keeping still, observing the connection. Like I say, it feels as if this person was just giving you space, giving you space, maybe even giving them space, giving themselves space and time because they themselves may have been going through loss, bereavement. Uh, they themselves could have been parallel running with financial challenges in their career, their money. So it feels as if the best thing that they could do was to just be still. Yeah, but I feel that they want to come in with the Page of Swords and um, clear something up to evoke change, to break the cycle of poor communication with the swords here, okay? Because uh, communication is a battle. The swords here, blinded, want to wanted to initiate a conversation, not quite sure um, how to initiate that. That's why you're being guided to take that leap of faith with this person, okay? But they definitely want to come in and clear something up. Again, with the hang two hangmans and uh, the page of swords, this person never stopped... I feel almost spiritually checking in on you. You may have been in their prayers. You may have been part of their manifestations, intention settings, not only for themselves, around finances, career, maybe even bereavement, that like you will still take a leap of faith with them when it all kind of mellows out. And the five of wands. So we saw that um, when we saw those cards with the, uh, what's it call it? The eight of, eight of cups, the knight and the five of wands. There's the five of wands coming out again. So I feel that many of you were conflicted if you walked away. If you walked away from the connection, many of you may want that to, you may want a new beginning with this person. Um, particularly if you were grieving, you may have known that you weren't in the right headspace to enter a relationship, to move things to the next level. And many of you, I feel that felt very, very conflicted to do that, to walk away, to resist, to deny the connection. But you've done the right th thing, I feel. You've done the right thing because the connection is blessed. What's there for you? Um, nobody can take that away. It, it's down to your free will how you, what what choices you make, whether the two of you come together in union quickly or it takes a lifetime, basically. And that's where free will comes in. But the connection is there for you. And I feel that many of you are being guided to step into your feminine energy and be receptive to the blessing of this connection. There's no need to feel um, conflicted anymore because change is upon, upon you. Transformation. Look, there's the emperor. Oh, my days. <laughs> Look at that. The emperor and the empress. You two are divine counterparts. Twin flames. Absolutely. So I feel that um, many of you... Um, I feel that the emperor actually might is is your energy. Um, and again, I feel that it's showing that you may have turned your back towards this person. Okay, turned your back again. It may be echoing um, that you may not have communicated how you felt or you were very, very strong to not engage in communication about feelings, about a relationship. 
because many of you may have denied, rest, uh, resisted, blocked the connection because you may have been in grieving, grieving for a job, other issues hitting you, grieving loss, bereavement, but at the same time, you were very, very conflicted to do that. But you stood steadfast. Uh, that's what you are, steadfast. You stood steadfast. You were very firm to stay away or not engage with any communication, any lovey-dovey stuff. You weren't willing to commit. Resisted, denied, blocked the connection very firmly, very, very firmly. But you're, you're thinking about this person. You're thinking about this person. Many of you, you know that this person is loyal to you. You're loyal to them. I can't, do you know what? Look at that, the Ace of Cups. Cannot even make this up. This guy, Guys, this is a twin flame message. The Ace of Cups is one of my favourite cards in tarot because this tells me, for me anyway, as a reader, with the Ace of Cups, this is unconditional love between two souls. And this is just echoing what I was saying. What's there for you? Nobody can take that away because the two of you are already together. Your hearts are already together spiritually. It's only like now, whatever it is, whatever bombshells are hitting the two of you, transformation is upon you because there's unconditional love. And you know what's really beautiful on a practical level with the king, um, the emperor, the ace of cups, the eight of wands and the empress. Just look at that little section here. OK, there's unconditional love between the two of you. And it is going to be through communication that I feel that the transformation is going to unfold. So take that leap of faith. Don't feel conflicted or let go of any confliction um, of shutting down the connection, um, wanting this change because it is a, upon you. It's like the highest truth is going to be revealed about the two of you are very loyal to each other. Divine timing is perfect. You are being guided. And I feel that you're being guided also to acknowledge that the growth that the two of you have gone through, the changes that you've gone through. Many of you, you know, like I said, it feels as if you've been parallel running, you know, different ebbs and flows. But in essence, if you take a step back, many of you have had the same impacts to do with funny, uh, funny. Why would I say funny? Why would funny come out of my mind? Oh, maybe you will look back and perhaps you will laugh. <laughs> OK, perhaps you will um, laugh. Um, uh, what, I'm just looking at your cards here. Um, yeah, pleasure seeking. Um well, pleasure sinking, I, I feel more the sensual stuff. Um, oh, look, loyal, loyal is here. Look, loyal. Um, so it almost feels as if many of you could be uh, laughing, um, laughing at the situation. I wouldn't say to them, um, but laughing in the situation because it almost feels as if when you take a step back, take that leap of faith, um, and the two of you perhaps talk about some of the issues that you've going, been going through, many of you might find it funny you might find it actually quite funny that you know you're both experiencing the same things at maybe different times and so therefore it almost feels as if um acknowledge the spiritual growth acknowledge um the truth of this connection it almost feels as if the two of you are a living truth of love of a loyalty of patience of um look so yeah somebody walked away yeah i feel that for many of you you definitely want to take that leap of faith with this person that's what you're thinking about you're thinking about them you turned your back and i feel with the full card here you want to take a leap of faith um maybe uh this person might want to take a leap of faith of with you as well yeah look you want to take a leap of faith because I feel that you walked away from this person, didn't I say? Eight of Cups. And we saw that, didn't we? When when I was shuffling, I saw the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. 
okay? So two of those cards that came out whilst we were shuffling have come out, the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So the, the Knight of Swords, it was something that was said. It was like communication that blocked this connection, but it's going to be communication that will bring the two of you together. You certainly want to take a leap of faith with this person. I mean, that per this energy is coming towards you. So it could be that this person also wants to take a leap of faith. I, I feel that this is a twin flame um, message with two divine counterparts coming out here and the loyal card so you could be picking up that energy and that's possibly why you are receiving you're open you maybe you're already open to receive this blessing and so therefore the two of you might be telepathically communicating do you remember i was just joking around oh that's why they were telling me um funny do you remember when i was talking around that talking earlier and saying the two of you are like looking at each other spiritually and saying did you go through that shit as well did that hit you as well yeah all that shit at work and like it's like it's spiritually it's like the two of you having a conversation uh-huh that's why they're saying to me it's funny it's almost like um in reality it's like this transformation the two of you might actually in reality talk about that and laugh about it okay um yeah i feel that uh many of you are manifesting manifesting this person back um after you had cut them out the king of swords yeah yep because it feels as if the it's like like i said what was i saying what is written for you what is there for you no one can take it's almost as if divine spirit universe sh is showing you this is written both of you have been written in the book of life both of you have been written to be together because you two are loyal. You are part of, you know, the same heart, the same heart and soul, twin flames. So it feels as if you want to take a leap of faith. You want to take a leap of faith after walking away, manifesting this person after cutting them out. You love this person with the Ace of Cups. You know that this person loves you as well. And because this Empress energy is this person, male or female, I feel that you're reflecting each other. I feel they too want to uh, take a leap of faith because they love you, okay? They love you. They want to take a leap of faith. After you walked away, they're manifesting you back after you cut them out. Can't really make it up. Can't make it up can't make it up and I feel that they miss you they miss your energy they know that you and them that you both have lived many lives together okay they they know it they feel it they think of you quite a lot I feel that they value you they value you but they were hurt they were hurt look and the candle's just gone out I don't know if you can see the smoke coming up there so it's telling me this is the cycle has completed the two of you. There's major transformation, a new beginning. Be open to receive it. It's like you're going to be receiving your milk and honey now, overflowing with it. Your advice, look at that, develop or in reverence for life. Absolutely. It's like enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey. It's like you both have gone through the bombshells and now experience the joy of um, laughing, bringing merriment, joy you know, uh, reflecting on shit that the two of you have gone through, the curveballs that have hit you, laughing about it, coming into union um, in, and just enjoy the journey. Ah, uh, look, it says, take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution. And I picked that up whilst I was channeling for this message. Um, uh, it, it's, it's like you're being guided to enjoy the journey. It's part of um, spiritual growth. Um, this person definitely is your twin flame. Yeah, very strongly here, emperor and empress. Um, uh, th so this person uh, and you were brought in each other's paths to help you either through a particular moment of grieving, either on your side, on their side, both of you, grieving the loss of a loved one, grieving the loss of a job, a job, grieving um, an injustice to do with job and finances, whatever it is. You were each other's light and you may not have even realised it. So I feel that you're being guided to take that time and acknowledge the subtle spiritual changes and evolution. Thank you. And foster patience. And patience is in your card here. Foster patience. 
be patient because I feel that this transformation, this new beginning, this change, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time, but it's there. It's been written. And I feel that many of you will be shown that, being enlightened, it, particularly if you are somebody that is a meditate, a med you, you meditate, you pray, you manifest, you, you watch the moon cycles to know when to manifest and release your um, intentions um, to the universe. Um, if you are that kind of individual, um, it's been written, uh, you, the messages have been received, what is up above will be reflected down below. I believe that we can have heaven on earth if you operate from that place of peace and love and light in your heart. That's what we're all here for, to raise that vibration of love, okay? But this connection, guys, is very, very blessed. OK, I'm going to leave that there for you, Tauruses. Um, please check out your moon rising and Venus signs. Um, it will may give you some uh, extra messages to help you on this journey. But if this message resonated, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful Tauruses, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.